In this video, I will share five simple habits that help me become a successful language learner. They won't take a lot of your time, only about 10 to 20 minutes, but you will see your language level increase after giving them a try. Let's begin with the first habit, talk to AI. I think this habit will probably take you around 15 minutes a day. I know a lot of you guys have heard recently how important it is to use AI while learning foreign languages, especially English. You can now ask ChatGPT a lot of different questions, like honestly, any question about language learning, that's what I do. Do right now with Spanish. If I have a question about grammar, if I'm not sure how to translate a specific word, I will just ask ChatGPT. But recently they have introduced a new feature where you can actually use your voice to talk to AI. I'm gonna try showing how it works because right now I'm at the park and maybe my internet is not gonna be that great. But the key here is to tell ChatGPT that you're a language learner and that you want it to correct your mistakes. Hello, I'm a language learner and I'm learning English and I want to talk to you about my day-to-day. -day. I want you to correct my mistakes and help me improve my vocabulary. I'd be happy to help. How was your day-to-day? -day? My day was pretty good. I woke up kind of late at 8.30 and then I had breakfast. That sounds nice. Just a small correction. You can say, I woke up kind of late at 8.30. Do you want to tell me more about your day? Thank you so much. Uh, yes, right now I'm at the park recording a YouTube video. You're welcome. That sounds interesting. What kind of video are you recording? I am making a video for language learners with some interesting habits. So as you can see, it's really cool to use because you can talk about something that you did today, your plans, maybe your vacation plans, and ChatGPT will correct all of your mistakes. If you're not sure how to say a certain word, again, just use AI and it will help you. This habit is especially beneficial for those of you guys who sometimes have this extreme motivation to learn the language. You know, sometimes I have this feeling too. I'm at home, I'm doing something, and then I start thinking, I want to speak Spanish right now with someone so bad. And obviously it's kind of difficult to book a lesson that fast. And you can just open the app and have a conversation. And you can make it as short or as long as you want to. Now let's move on to the second habit, which is describing an object. I would say it will take you around 20 minutes. You can incorporate this habit into your writing routine or your speaking routine. But because we kind of already talked about your speaking routine, try to practice it while writing something in English. So right now I'm at the park, right? And behind me there are some very interesting flowers. Honestly, I have never seen those flowers before and I can just whip out my journal and write what I think these flowers are called. Maybe they remind me of something like what they look like, the colors and everything. It is a beautiful writing exercise. And plus, it is connected to something that is happening around you, right? You're not imagining things because sometimes it's very hard for us to use our imagination. And plus, a lot of people are gonna say, yeah, like why should I describe just an object from my imagination if I will never see it or if I will never use it? And this exercise will actually even prompt you to Google the name of this plant, let's say, and be like, what is this plant called? You know, take a picture and ask Google and stuff like that. So this way you will be improving your vocabulary, obviously your grammar, because all of this is connected to active learning. You have to be actively engaged to describe an object. And of course, if you want to, you can also practice speaking this way. I hope you guys all know and you can agree with me that when it comes to language learning, building a habit and practicing it consistently is very important. When you start practicing with a teacher, a common problem you might encounter is wasting time learning irrelevant things that are not even interesting to you. You guys know that I use the platform LifeXP for practicing my languages and I always recommend it to you. Recently, they have launched a new AI feature called the Personalized Path that guides you through the whole process of finding out your English level, picking your interest and choosing a tutor. And I'm very excited about this new feature and what it can offer. So all you have to do is go to the main page, click on Get Started, choose English and start building your personalized path. Once you go through all the steps and get access to your personalized path to learn English, you'll see that it covers reading, listening, vocabulary, and grammar. And you can revise all of the new words on the LifeXP app in a very convenient way by using the space repetition technology that they have integrated there. I'm personally very impressed with this new feature because it shows that LifeXP is a unique and comprehensive platform for language learners that combines personalized AI with real human
human interaction, which makes language learning a lot more fun and effective. You can create your own personalized path on LifeXP and start learning with a teacher by using the link in my bio. And only with my promo code Veronica English, you'll be able to book a 30 minute trial lesson for only 99 cents. And then subscribe to LifeXP with a 30% discount with my code Veronica English 30. So just save these two codes, Veronica English and Veronica English 30, and give LifeXP a try. Now let's move on to the next habit, which I decided to call your daily challenge. And you can spend around 10 minutes doing it. This is a fun activity to stay motivated to learn the language because sometimes we lose motivation. Sometimes we feel tired, exhausted, and we kind of need this boost, you know, to keep going. So this habit is a little bit tongue in cheek. Here are a few examples. Learning five new idioms, using a specific tense throughout the day describing your day in the target language before bed, learning about a cultural aspect. It can be anything, but if you manage to create a challenge that is fun and also quick, and also, you know, researching all the things in your target language, if your level allows for that, you will have so much fun and you will not even notice how the time flies by. Oh my god, the squirrels are literally here. This is crazy. And there's a second one here. Hello. No, don't touch my camera. Okay. A few days ago, I decided to do this challenge in Spanish and I researched the concept of chancla in Mexico. So the word chancla means a sandal, right? And you may be wondering, why? Why are you so interested in sandals, Veronica? And my answer is, in a lot of Mexican households, especially in the past, mothers would like hold up a sandal if they wanted the kids to listen to them. They could even like throw the sandal and be like, I told you, you know, you gotta listen to me or something like that. I got interested in this concept of chancla because a lot of my Mexican friends always joke about it. You know, obviously their mothers always joke about it. And I was like, this is so interesting. And I spent like a few minutes researching this concept, learning more about it, like where it came from. And I did everything in Spanish. Of course, I learned a lot of new words. I had a lot of fun. I asked ChatGPT to explain it to me, to have a little conversation. And this way, practicing all the habits I shared with you before. The next simple habit you can implement is following people on social media. I know that many people usually waste time on social media, but if you follow influencers who speak your target language, you will learn a lot of things. Just set a 10 minute timer for yourself and every single day, check their new posts. You will be exposed to informal language. You will learn a lot of cultural things and you will also learn what things are popular right now in this specific country, like maybe trends or songs. So I highly recommend it. It was actually something that I did with English when I was a teenager and I was in high school because I really wanted to you know, maybe like make an English speaking friend, but I was very shy. So I decided to just follow a bunch of influencers on Instagram and, you know, watch their stories, their reels and their posts and see what language they're using. And this way I learned a lot of slang. And finally, habit number five is immersion walks. You can make them as long as you want to, but I would say starting from 20 minutes is pretty good. This habit will be especially amazing for busy people. When I work a lot and I don't go outside my house, I feel very tired. And then at one moment I decide to take a break, go for a walk, and listen to something in a foreign language. I usually listen to podcasts and audiobooks and a lot of different topics, and I learn so many things while also walking. So like doing something good for my body instead of sitting in front of my computer all day. So this habit combines physical activity with learning. And for a lot of people, this really helps with memory retention. Learning something while exercising becomes a lot more effective and a lot more fun. I think it's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments which habit you're most excited to start implementing. Don't forget to check out Life XP and their personalized path by clicking the link in the description. My promo codes will give you a big discount, so make sure to save them as well. If you're thinking about what to watch next, I highly recommend checking out another video in my series of habits for language learners. So click right here and keep on watching, and I'll see you there.